hey babes welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to dye your hair jet black at home but in a professional way all the products that i use in this video are from sally's so make sure you screenshot save the video and subscribe so let's go over what you will need like i said before i got everything from sally's first you'll need a non-metal mixing bowl this is where you're going to be putting your dye and your toner in the next tool that you want to get is a hair dye comb and then let's get into the color so the color that i got was the color brilliance permanent jet black 1v you don't have to use this brand but i think this brand is professional when it comes to the type of dye after that, I got the 20 volume developer, scalp sensitive. You can also get 10 volume developer. Doesn't really matter, but you wanna make sure you get the scalp sensitive if you're using it on your real hair. Next, I got this strengthen and moisturizing serum that you add into the mix, same brand. I also got this after color sealer. Um, sealer so what you do is after you rinse out the dye you want to put this in your hair let it sit for a couple minutes and it locks in the color this is very important please read your instructions so i wanted to show you guys what the instructions actually say in the package but if you're going to be doing developer and hair dye you have to follow this so it's basically saying However much hair dye you use, you want to use the same amount of developer, one and one ratio. So here, the hair dye is 2.05 ounces, and the developer was about four ounces. So I used two hair dyes, so that equaled to be over four ounces, and then I used the entire bottle of the 20 volume developer so that I have a one and one ratio. But guys, always check the instructions when it comes to your hair dye, especially if you want it to look professional. So first, you want to pour in your two tubes of hair dye. And as you guys see me here, I did have to edit some clips out, but I put the first one in and then I went ahead and I put the second one in. After that, you pour the developer into the mixture and then you really want to make sure you get all of the developer out after that you're going to go in and you're going to start mixing now when it came to me mixing guys i was putting in elbow grease this thing had so much product in it i was mixing for dear life but you want to make sure that you get a good mixture before you add in that serum that i was telling you guys about because it's not going to really get through all the hair strands if you don't mix the hair dye and the developer in really well. This is the consistency that you want. Like I was telling you guys, this right here is a step one booster. It just really helps to keep your hair looking shiny. It helps the hair stay strong when you're dyeing it. And you just pour that in once you finish mixing in the other two products, the hair dye and the developer. Pour that bottle in there just like this. And then you also want to go in and give this a good mix. It won't take too long for all the products to combine together because the serum is very light. It's not as thick. So, yeah. Now, this is what I like to do. I like to dye my hair on plastic bags, not my towels i don't want to ruin my towels so i recommend if you have three or more bundles cut open the garbage bag like you see i'm doing cut along the sides so the bag actually opens up and you have a bigger work space when it comes to dyeing i hate when i dye my hair and the color it's all over the place so i started to use garbage bags because i felt like it was a real easy cleanup so you see how i cut it open and then i opened up the bag and i had such more space when it came to actually like dyeing my hair i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying but just cut open your garbage bag and then lay it out so make sure you guys get gloves it's important 
once you get your gloves on you want to lay out your bundles i'm going to be dyeing three bundles of raw body wave hair and what i learned about dyeing bundles is you can't take the quick and easy way out or the dye is not going to come out how you want it if you want a professional dye cut open your bundles and make sure you actually spread your bundles open like this do not leave your bundles like this open your bundles it's important that you open them because you want the color to go through each layer and each weft trust me so now that now that the bundles are open i'm going to go in and i'm going to brush out any tangles that i may have caused when i was unraveling the hair so when it comes to actually dyeing my bundles i start from bottom to top i go in with a good amount of product on my hair dye brush and then i just start to brush it through the ends and then i make my way to the top of the bundle like so also i go in and i flip my bundles continuously you want to make sure you take your time and you're not in a rush because if you don't dye your hair correctly and you make sure that each strand has dye on it, trust me, you'll still see some of the original color in your hair even after you wash out the dye. And that's not what we want. We want the entire bundle to be the same color, which is jet black. So I flip my bundles. I flip them two three even four times and i make sure that i really get the product in there and i also open up my bundles and when i brush the dye through the bundles i'm doing that so that i can guarantee each single strand has the black hair dye in it because i want my hair color to be one color i'll even open up each weft and I'll go in and I'll add dye again because I just want to make sure the hair is saturated with the dye. So once I rinse this out, I have the color that I was trying to achieve. Once I put the dye in each bundle, this is how the bundles were looking. The box said to let it sit for 30 minutes. I let all three bundles sit for 45 minutes. Just wanted to make sure that they really had time to process but this is how they came out. And once the bundles were washed and I put the color sealer conditioner on it, this is how all three bundles looked. I let my bundles air dry for about a day and a half because I didn't need them right away. That's a key. If you're in a rush, do not dye your bundles. Make sure you do it in advance so you have time to do it the proper way. I will have all of my products that i used in the description box below but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope this video really shows you guys how to achieve that professional jet black hair color when it comes to your bundles and guys please remember take your time and trust the process it's going to be great bye